Hello everybody. Today I want to talk to you about how to filter the output of different commands on a Cisco switch, Cisco router, you name it. Uh, any iOS or iOS XE device, this is going to be fairly standard for. There's a number of different things that you can do to filter the output uh, of a show command or of a, you know, look at the configuration. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in those configurations. So I want to show you some ways to filter that down, get exactly what it is that you need to you know, look at from a configuration perspective or from a troubleshooting perspective, uh, and you know, get the info that you need quickly and effectively. So with that being said, we're going to dive into the command line. We're going to look at this firsthand. And um, yeah, I'm hoping this is going to be helpful to someone. So anyway, hit that subscribe button. If you have a switch or router that you want to kind of follow along with, by all means. But with that being said, let's dive into it. All right, so to start um, filtering command output, obviously we need to be connected to a Cisco iOS device, a router or a switch. I happen to be connected to a 3650 switch here. I do find that SSH is a little bit faster than the console port for uh, whatever it's worth. But uh, either way is just fine. So to get started, I want to talk about a couple different options to filter output. Uh, first uh, is probably the easiest to get started with, and that is the options that are baked into commands that are already part of the unit, right? So uh, if you want to do a show run command, for instance, you can actually use the question mark and actually filter down that show run output with some additional options that are built right into the show run command. Right, so show running config, as you'll see here, uh, I'm scrolling through it rather quickly. There is a lot to it on this device, and uh, this is even just a lab device, right? It's not a production device where it may have a lot of static routes, it may have a lot of policy maps, uh, you name it. There's a lot of different things that could be in the config that make it overwhelming to uh, to look through. So, anyway, show running config. And we could actually hone in on uh, probably my favorite to, or most common that I use is the interface. So show running config interface, and we can just call out specific interfaces. The uh, tab based uh, context sensitive help is available. So you can tab it, tab the, uh, the commands out. So let's look at gig interface 1040. Uh, and there you go. It shows the running config, just that section of the running config. So a lot of commands do in fact have the ability to filter right in the command itself uh, to some extent. Now, if you would like to go deeper or you want to you know, filter the command uh, or filter output in a way that maybe is not supported, so there's just a limited subset of options in the show running config you know, menu of options, uh, we can do that. We can have uh, other options to do that. So let's take a look at a few of them now. Um, by the way, this works on show output of any, right, show IP interface, show interface, uh, even when you look at log files, right, show logs, you can filter uh, on those as well, the same way that I'm about to filter on the running config. So let's do show run, and let's, uh, let's pipe to some other filtering options that we have here. Now, there are uh, a couple that I'm going to call out. We're not going to use all of these, uh, but there is probably my favorite, the section command. We'll look at that first. There's the include and exclude command, and there is the begin command. So uh, we'll take a, try and take a look at all of these real quick. Uh, the section command is a section, right? A section of, of the configuration. So in that example above where we looked at the interface, that uh, is essentially a section, right? We can get that same output by uh, doing a section uh, search as well. And what it does is the beginning of the section is the uh, unindented text, if you will. Uh, it, the section is everything indented below it for lack of, um, you know, lack of different way of, of saying it. So uh, you don't have to type this entire piece of, uh, of text to, to find it. All you have to do is find a unique piece for that section. So I'll look for 1 slash 0 slash 40, and I can get that same output straight away. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm able to view that physical ports configuration using the section command. 
likewise, you could use this on something that's maybe a, a not as common, right? So I could look for the router EIGRP configuration. And uh, you do need the section command after the pipe, of course. You'll see here I have actually two router commands or two router router processes that come back. Uh, if I wanted to prune that back even more specifically, I just say router EIGRP 100 and you'll see just section 100 is returned. This does use regular expression matching, so it can take a literal string, right? Router space EIGRP. Uh, or you could, um, you know, use a regular expression. So anywhere that there is a EIGRP in some number, right, I could search on that using regular expressions, uh, and I don't have to know the process number specifically. Um, comment below if you have more questions on that. Maybe I'll do something separate on regular expressions. Uh, either way, we have the way, we have the option to filter this down and, you know, get to a section of configuration that otherwise is halfway down the page in the running config. The next thing I want to show you is the uh, other pipe two commands. So pipe two, uh, include and exclude. Uh, and include uh, running against the running configuration. This might be good for a single line um, you know, type of type of global config. So maybe an IP route statement, IP route. We can search for that, uh, and you can see here some static routes that I have configured. I do want to point out some limitations though, and that is anywhere that it sees the word IP route, it will match and it will return that information. Uh, so a lot of times you're just trying to get uh, to some config uh, pretty specifically. Great way to to do it. Now, another way that you could use this include command is uh, show log, right? And you see the logging information and it's logs are, are quite, uh, quite cumbersome sometimes. So say I wanted to just see, I don't know, anytime that an interface went down and we see ups, downs, other type of indications, right? So I can do show logging and I can filter that out. I can prune down what it is that I'm seeing and just, just get to the things that I truly care about, right? So I'll look for uh, include down. Uh, from there, the, again, the events are just the events that I truly care about and want to, uh, you know, use to troubleshoot. The exclude command is essentially the same thing, but it excludes. So say I wanted to, uh, you know, do that same type of thing. Uh, show log and exclude, maybe exclude the up, um, you know, the up events, right? Because they're, they're kind of good, right? They're, uh, things came online. That's fine. I don't, I don't care so much about that. I guess it's good to know, but, uh, for the sake of the example. So now I have down events. I have, uh, QoS trust events. I have whatever else is happening on the switch. Uh, I'm just excluding that that up event. Now you need to be careful because up could be a fragment of a word that is, um, you know, means something else. So I don't know, for instance, the word startup as an example. So again, know your, uh, know your device, filter a couple different times to make sure you're getting the information. But again, these will make it much more, uh, you know, feasible to, to dive in and, and get that, get that information pruned down. Uh, another quick example of the regular expression capabilities would be, uh, let's see, show IP interface brief. Uh, you can see all of the interfaces on the device, both VLAN interfaces, loopback interfaces, uh, physical interfaces, you name it. Uh, and I want to, I want to see just the ones that have IP addresses assigned. So, uh, the best way to do this, show IP interface brief include and uh, maybe I want to do uh, you know any any uh, numbers right zero through nine uh, with a different number of occurrences either one two or three occurrences of that number I could then escape the dot uh, and get that first part of the IP address really it would be matching any part that is followed by a a dot uh, but that's unique enough that I can then 
search for IP addresses rather than, you know, match on the digits of the interface or something of that sort. Uh, likewise, the exclude command, you could uh, exclude these as well, right? All interfaces that don't have an IP address. Last but not least, I'm going to show you the begin command. And we'll go back to show run for this. Uh, and you see begin. Begin with a line that matches, right? Fill in the blank. Begin. And maybe we want to start at, uh, you know, we want to look at all of our physical switch port interfaces. So we can begin at 101. Search for that. Actually, you don't have a space on the end there. We can search for that. We'll start, uh, we'll start there, right? Gigabit. Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1. Now this will show the rest of the configuration, everything from this point on. So we can scroll down through. You can see I have, you know, some garbage assigned to different interfaces. But it gives you the option to start at one point and, again, scroll down through. So uh, another example might be uh, if you have multiple routing protocols configured on a device, start with the word uh, router and uh, you'll be at the top of that section of configuration. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. I hope it gives you some ideas on what you can do to further filter down the output from the CLI. The CLI can be intimidating. So the ability to filter down, dive right into the information that you need can be helpful, quite honestly. So uh, anyway, if you have other questions, comments, uh, even your own tips and tricks that you may have developed over the years, leave them in the comment section. Uh, if you found this, it, least the least bit helpful give me a thumbs up come on and uh thanks for watching hit that subscribe button if you're new here and uh, i hope to see you again sometime soon thanks for watching